tonight on Strip Down. Jay Sempko. Josh Palmer. What are you doing? Teresa Sokerka. You, me, Robert Palmer. Are we still on the air? <laughs> are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson. Quick hello to everyone watching across the province on the Shaw and Access Communication Networks. Tonight on Stripped Down from the Queen City, ladies and gentlemen, it's Andy Schaff. Andy Schaff in the Shaw TV studio tonight, all the way from Regina, Saskatchewan. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for making the drive. We don't get a lot of Regina musicians. We try, but there's something about coming down on a Wednesday night that just doesn't appeal to a lot of Regina musicians. So yeah. you have to go back to the Queen City and spread the word and try to get more uh, bands slash solo artists to come to Saskatoon and tape for Strip Down. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. Okay, uh, I was researching you today, and this is awesome. I went to your MySpace, and the first thing it says, Andy Schaff is not a conversationalist. That's true. That worries me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the host of a one-hour talk slash music show. I that bet. worried me a little. So we got we to get this going tonight. Hit me with a crazy story from the road. Hit me with something. Yikes. Let's get this going, Andy. A I'm crazy gonna you, story. I'm going to make you a conversationalist by the end um, of this hour. Wow. Andy Schaff, driving back and forth, because you play Saskatoon a lot. Quite a bit. you got to have some sort of crazy touring story, some prairie story, something crazy that happened at one of your gigs. Let's just get that out of the way right off the top. There's, I don't know, I'm, I'm a pretty boring guy. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> There's a, uh, well, we sit in the van a lot. We being? We being like me and my friends. Okay, is that like I bring a backing along? band or just Sometimes. A really? Or sometimes it's just a friend, but yeah. So the Andy Schaff, is it band? We used to call ourselves Team Schaff. Team Schaff. 
It's yeah. pretty close to Team Shaw. Kind of like ah. that. So who was uh, <laughs> Team Shaw? What else did you have? Team Shaw was me and two of my friends, Dallas Bryson and Brody Evenson. And yeah. And what did they play? They played bass and drums. And we toured in my station wagon. The craziest story I probably have is like crashing my station wagon. Well, that's a crazy story. <laughs> well, how did that happen? Set that it up was here in Saskatoon, and we were going to play hockey, and somebody hit me at an uncontrolled intersection. Total it? Yeah. 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 Everybody was okay, though? Everybody was fine, except for the lady who hit us was pretty concerned, but. But you were banned? Fine. Yeah. On we the were, way to play hockey? We were strong. Yeah. So, a lot of hockey? Yeah. Yeah. What's the, what's the background there? What have you been the doing longer, hockey or music? Uh, hockey. Really? Yeah. And I'm way better at hockey, too. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe we could have got you stick handling off the top instead of playing a song. What was the song you opened up with? Um, Singer of Love Songs. Singer of Love Songs. I had songs. to check my, my okay. paper. Yeah. What's Singer of Love Songs about? Um, it's kind of... I used to write a lot of love songs, and I kind of became known for my love songs on like a really small level of course but that's awesome you were known I don't, for your love songs i don't really like that because you're like 21 yeah <laughs> <laughs> i kind of wrote myself into love song the love song category and i kind of want to get out of it now you're busting out of that or try, trying trying to. yeah but i keep writing love songs so okay what are we gonna hear tonight uh like old Some, stuff, new stuff, is it going to be all love songs? Because you've been writing music since you've been like 12 or 14, is that correct? Yeah. And one disc under your belt already? Uh, one official disc on a real label or, or whatever. Okay. I'll play a few songs off that and some new ones. The, the CD that I have right now is kind of old. I recorded it in 2007, and I shopped around for labels and stuff like that to release it. But So I've got a lot of new songs since then, so I... I like to play new songs. All right, uh, let's get to another song then. Let's keep hammering through these. What's up next? Well, this is an old song. <laughs> okay. Sorry, and the first one real quick, was that a new one or an old one as It's well? a new one. Yeah. The first one you played was a new one? Yeah. This one's an old one. This okay, we got that hammer out. What is this one? This one is called uh, Gone. Gone? Yeah. All right, take it away, Andy. So we don't hold back with what you say. You're speaking louder than you ever thought you could be. In darker days, move away. cities where you hide with everything you hate Something 
find another town to travel to Will you miss me when I'm gone, gone, gone Everything is leaving Everything is leaving When everything is leaving Everything is leaving Andy Schaff in the Shaw TV studios tonight. You are watching Strip Down, song number two under our belts. That again was? Gone. Gone. What's yeah. gone about? Something no longer gone. there. Gone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a safe, safe bet. A safe know. bet. It's an old song. I, okay. I can't really remember. How old were you when you wrote this? Um, I, maybe like 19. Really? Yeah. So it was just like yesterday. Pretty much. That's crazy. <laughs> you, you're actually only 21. Yep. And when did you start? I know, I look, I look pretty old. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Just check. So you've only been playing in bars for like two years then, eh? Yeah. I bet you that really helped progress the career once you turned 19. Yeah, well, bars don't really understand my quiet music sometimes. Okay, lounges? Lounges are a little bit, a little yeah. bit easier. But, yeah. So how far across Saskatchewan do you hit? Like where do you, where do you go when you do the circuit? Because you're here pretty much every other week. Yeah. <laughs> I go Saskatoon and Regina, and I like to play in Moose Jaw sometimes. And I've played in Yorkton and Estevan. That's where it all began, wasn't it? That is, Estevan. yeah. We'll talk about that after the first commercial break, which we have to hit right now. And uh, you said you were, you, this confused me a little bit on your MySpace. It says band, question mark, then it's just me and my muscles. <laughs> so are you officially done with the band? Or do you still kind of pick them up once in a while um, when they can hop in <laughs> and come with you? I would. Everybody, everybody who was as free as I was got jobs and got tied down. Oh, they so, sold out, basically. Yeah, they're all sold out. But Andy's keeping it real. <laughs> but I love the quote, just me and my muscles. Yeah. All right, well, we do have to take our first commercial break. We'll talk about Estevan after the first commercial break. Lots more stick around. Lots more Andy Schaff. Stick around. More stripped down after this. Don't touch that dial, more stripped down after this. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Do you know where stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet? It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest reptile in the world. Up to two meters long and weighing as much as 550 kilos, this turtle roams many of the world's oceans in search of its favorite food, jellyfish. But this hulking giant may be fighting a losing battle against poaching, fishing gear, and garbage. To learn more about the leatherback and discover how you can help protect Canada's wildlife, visit hww.ca.
Andy Schaff in the Shaw TV studios tonight. You're watching Strip Down. How's it going tonight, Andy? How's it going so far? 15 minutes Pretty in. Pretty good. You excited? Yeah. Are we making a conversationalist out of you yet? Uh, probably not. It was, it was awesome, <laughs> seriously. I wish I could have recorded my face when I checked your MySpace. Andy Schaff, not a conversationalist. <laughs> <sighs> No, we're doing fine. This is awesome. Okay, you like pizza. That's the one thing you gave me on your MySpace. Mm -hmm. Your band is just you and your muscles, and you like pizza. So now did the love of pizza begin where it all began in Estevan? See how I segued into that? <laughs> Not bad. What do you want to talk about first, pizza or Estevan? Well, <laughs> I guess pizza. Can all right. We, can we do pizza first? Sure. I played, uh, on one of my tours, I did this thing where I would ask people their favorite pizza. So it's kind of been like a, not like a running joke, but... It's been a running love for pizza. And what did you do once you gathered that information? Uh, I would just did you like freestyle it or something? Like you looked into one of your songs? Well, or it was just kind of like a it's survey? It's kind of like, oh, you like pepperoni? That's that's cool. Those kind of filler in between songs yeah. while you were tuning. Pretty that's much. good. Must have got a good reaction if you kept doing it. People hated it. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> it was terrible. That being said, let's switch and talk about Estevan. That's where you're from originally. Yeah. All right, yeah. what was it like growing up in Estevan? How long were you there? You kind of um, bounced all over the place. Yeah, I lived in Estevan till I was in grade five, okay. I think, or four. No, three. And when grade did three. you start pursuing the music thing? Uh, I played the drums, like, when I, when I was really young. Okay. My parents owned a radio shack, and they had a drum set that they were selling that they didn't sell, that they bought. Okay. <laughs> That's that why, I, yeah, yeah, okay. And then I started playing them really poorly, and then I started playing the guitar, and yeah. It was all in Estevan. That's where it began. What I was, played what drums. What was it like growing up in Estevan? It was, good uh, times? I don't know. It was good times. Yeah. All right. So it started with the drums, then you moved to guitar, and then you started moving all over the place? Yeah. All right, where'd you go after Estevan? You kind I of went toured to... the prairies before you toured the prairies. <laughs> I moved to Bean Fate, which was five minutes down the road. If never heard of never it. Never heard of it. Oh. I don't even know if we broadcast out there, and we broadcast pretty much <laughs> everywhere out here. Okay. It's a good, it's a good town. Yeah. Coal mining. Coal mining. Coal town. mining. Yeah. Well, when I was there, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So were you kind of doing music just kind of as a default, like not a lot to do out there? Um, so kind of keep with the drums and the guitar? I played drums in church. My okay. parents would be on the worship team and I'd be the drummer and I was really small so the drums would kind of hide me people would be like oh who's on the drums but it was me that was another segue into the quote Jesus never fails Jesus on your guitar fails. yeah inspirational for you uh not really not really just <laughs> something to put on your guitar well this is my grandpa's guitar really he, yeah also from Estevan and yeah he he gave it to me or actually my grandma gave it to me after he passed away, and he put this on there. That's really cool. A while ago. Yeah. See, you have lots to talk about. Not a conversationalist. I'm going to well, hack into your MySpace tonight and remove that. <laughs> so all future interviewers aren't thrown off by that. Let's get to more music, sir. Song right. number three. Song number three. This one's a new one. Uh, it's called Slowly. A yet to be released one? A yet to be released. Slowly. Yeah. All right. Take it away, Andy. Jesus Christ. 
Watching Strip Down, Andy Shaw from the Shaw TV Studios tonight. I want to talk more about growing up in Estevan and playing in bands by the time you're 14. But first thing I want to ask you is, how come you look drastically different in every single picture I can find of you on the internet? Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe it's because I cut my hair. Maybe. Yeah. You cut your hair recently or before you cut your hair? Did it used to be longer? Um, kind of goes in stages. Okay. You know? Sometimes it's really long. Sometimes it's like. It's usually pretty long. So you're not a master of disguise on purpose. It's just accidental. It's just accidental. Okay. I thought I kind of looked the same. I, I saw like three pictures and I was like, okay, <laughs> that, that's not the same person. Okay. You're growing up. What's the song or album made you totally want to do this? Um, Everybody has one. Everybody, every artist comes on here and talks about the album and or song where they're like, this is what I want to do. I think probably the first album that was really like I don't know, influential. The one me. that resonated? The one that resonated was probably um, Elliot Smith's self-titled album. Never, never. Heard of it. It's <laughs> it's a uh, it's like a really dark acoustic album. Okay. That was kind of when I discovered like acoustic music, I guess. What were you playing before? I was playing pop punk. Like See, that's where I wanted to go next. <laughs> uh, at age 14, you were in bands, you were recording by age 60, but let's talk about when you were 14. Talk about your bands, because everybody has those like first embarrassing bands. <laughs> Not usually when they're 14, but... So well, it, was, it was punk, what were we saying? It was pop punk, and I was like a really wild drummer, and I had long hair, and I was pretty cool, or like I thought it was pretty cool. And we had a band called 77, and it was like the word 70 and the number 7. Okay. It's pretty cool, right? And what happened to 77? Um, well, we broke up, I guess, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> I we wish I could a... remember the number that means killed. It got 66. Does that it? I don't know. <laughs> that would have been that would have been a great joke and segue, but I can't remember. 66? Sure. Yeah. All right, from there? From there, I started playing guitar after that band broke up. And then I started playing drums in another band called Captain, and we were. You Where know, were we you were, at this we were point? Were you still in Estevan? I actually moved to Cairnport, Cairnport. Saskatchewan. It's kind of by Moose Jaw. Yeah, I'm familiar. It's with like Cairnport. it has like a Christian high school. Yeah, stuff. Uh, Briarcrest. Briarcrest, yeah. <laughs> nice. How were how were the years of Briarcrest? They were great. Yeah, I like. Actually, it a lot. I know a lot of bands that kind of came together in Briarcrest. Oh really? Briarcrest, yeah. Yeah. Captain was a Briarcrest band. Yeah. yeah, and what fate befell Captain? Um, well, we we toured for a while. I was in that band from when I was about 17 till about 18 or 19, I guess. Okay. And we toured a couple times, and we moved out to Chilliwack, BC together to. Wow, you guys to made make a go it of happen. It. Yeah, and then we broke up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are we going to hear any of those tunes tonight? No. No? Okay. No, definitely not. Uh, but let's get to <laughs> another song. The last one you played again. That you was... want to talk about that real quick? It was called Slowly. And Slowly was about... Slowly is about a few different things, I guess. Okay. It's How about... Uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of hard to explain my songs. Well, a lot of the songs you wrote, you were probably super young, so... Yeah, this that one was a new one. I, I wrote it just a while ago. It's kind of about... Um, there's parts that are about, you know, my, my faith. Um, I used to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. You just used to be? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I used to be a Christian, and it's about that, and part of it's about cigarettes and why they're going to kill me, or how they're going to kill me. <laughs> That's a harsh transition between yeah. that and Christianity. <laughs> but next up is? Next up is uh, Your Heart. Your Heart? Old it's, or new? It's a new old one, actually, off of the album that I have right now. All right. Yeah. It's got a wicked guitar solo on it, and I'm probably going to screw it up, but... <laughs> That'll be okay. <laughs> Way to set it up. <laughs> Andy Shaw, ladies and gentlemen. In the summertime wind, in the heart of my home, in the dark of the night, in the way that you might, when our lips are closed and our words were few, oh my dear, the days were shorter too, but I never got too far. From hoping for your heart I was praying quietly For a love that is real In my heart that hopes For an evening that heals But my prayers are words And my words are whispers And my whispering mind Is just wishing for time Cause I never got too far From hoping for your heart My dark days are my alibi when my lonely heart like a telephone line calls your name again through the clouds and the smoke there will be a whisper will you be my hope cuz I never got too far from hoping for your heart no I never get too far from hope Heart. Beautiful. Andy Schaff in the Shaw TV studio tonight. How'd it go? Success? Well, I enjoyed it. I didn't guitar notice. Guitar solos are kind of kind of hard sometimes yeah yeah do you usually plug that one in and rock it out or no usually... i usually i usually fumble around and make mistakes <laughs> awesome <laughs> all the time yeah. uh let's go back to the actual writing process i alluded to before where you did a lot of writing when you were young how do you how do you write do you have to like go to the coffee shop um put the music on or does it just kind of come randomly and you have to pull over and scribble it on a napkin kind of yeah, yeah. i've had... had the most success um the best songs, I think, usually just come at a weird time, or or the best lyrics, or my favorite lyrics, or songs, or the ones that usually aren't great are the ones where I'm trying to work on a song, or like. How frustrating is that, though? It's as a, as terrible. A yeah, because you get. Because you probably block off time yeah. to sit and write, and then it doesn't happen. Yeah, well, I don't really have to block off time. I don't. I don't have a job or anything, so I. <laughs> I have video game time or songwriting time, you know? But they never collide. No. If <laughs> I can always put down the video game when I want to write a song, you know? What video games are into? You, you strike me as like a Dance Dance Revolution kind of guy, <laughs> no? Really? No? That's... <laughs> no. No? I was being a little sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. I... My brother was actually really big into that game. Uh -huh. I played it a couple times. It's hard. Do you rock the classic Nintendo or...? I usually play Wii Sports. Tennis. Good game. Tennis is, I'm pretty good at it. 
Nice. Yeah. All right. So if anybody wants to challenge me. What are your, like, influences, though? Like, you're basically telling me you just play video games and write music. <laughs> so, uh, well, my... I mean, if I was writing music, I'd write about the day-to-day -day struggles at Shaw and, you know, uh, my... <laughs> the anger about working with Colton Wall over there. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Colton. We'll talk to Colton a little later. My influences would be, I guess, love. Love? Or that's what they were. I thought you were trying to break away from That's them. what I'm trying to break away from. <laughs> You're a confusing man, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm sorry. No, um, that's okay. I guess just day-to-day -day life. I don't know. Sometimes I think about stuff or something comes to me. I don't really have anything specific that I try and write about. All just right. words. Well, we have to take another commercial break, but I want to talk about the album that came out and the album pending when we come back. So we got lots more stripped down coming up after the break. Andy Schaff in the Shaw TV studio, stick around. Don't go anywhere, more stripped down after this. You've seen a Canadian $1 coin, so you're probably familiar with the common loon. It's no surprise that this water bird represents our country. Have you ever sat by a lake and listened to the loon's haunting calls? You probably wonder what all the noise is about. Its calls can mean anything from, I'm over here, to stay away. Humans enjoy Canadian lakes just as much as loons do. But if we're not careful, the wake from our boats can destroy their nests. And lead sinkers and jigs can poison and kill loons if they swallow them. So here's how you can help. Keep boats away from nesting areas and swimming birds, especially ones with chicks too young to dive or fly away. And if you're fishing, use non-lead sinkers and jigs so you won't harm the loons. And that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about loons and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Passing gas can be deadly. Whoa. Oh, something's funky. Passing gas releases a plume of toxic vapors. Oh. Oh, honey, not in the car. Like ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Oh. oh. And lethal poisons that can linger even when windows are open. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas. Take it outside. Watching Strip Down, Andy Shaw from the Shaw TV Studios tonight, but we haven't done this for a long time. Let's throw it over to Colton Wall, the man with 1006. Hold, Colton. It's been a while since we've had you on uh, on camera. How's it going, Colton? It's going well. Everything coming up wall these days? Yeah, sure. Yeah? <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, next time our hair gets out of control because we kind of have the same haircut, uh, Andy and I just make a hand motion or something and we'll, I'll get it out of my <laughs> face. Okay, yeah. I wanted to run these by you because uh, Andy's influences, his musical influences, I haven't heard of very many of them. So give me the thumbs up or thumbs down of Colton Wall. Okay. Because you know a lot about music. Okay, Elliot Smith. Thumbs up. Wilco. I knew that. I knew Wilco. Definitely thumbs up. Loose Fur. Uh, no. Pedro the Lion. Uh, thumbs down. Oh. Sorry, pal. <laughs> Two Bicycles. Never heard of them. Means. Uh, thumbs down. Oh. The Emerson Letters. Never heard of them. Aiden Knight. Never heard of them. Plants and animals. Thumbs up. Nice. Nice. So give him a score out of 10. Oh. What's Andy's uh, we'll personal go. taste in music running at, Colton? <laughs> we'll go five. Oh, five. come on. That's okay. harsh. That's, that's well, there was a few that I gave thumbs down. <laughs> Kill his mic. We're done with Colton. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, buddy. Okay, <laughs> okay Andy. Let's talk about the uh, albums. First CD that came out, 2007. Uh, Darker Days. Okay. It's... And that was on a label? It, yeah, on Shameless Records. It's actually coming out again in May. It's coming out again? Yeah. They're re-releasing re it? it? Yeah. 
because it was just so loved. <laughs> I'm confused. So um, I signed to a new label in the States called Peas for Panda. Okay. And so we're re-releasing that one to stores and stuff. And is that the one where like a pro small proceeds go to charity? Yeah. A Explain third, that. Yeah, a third goes to charity, a third goes to the label, and a third goes to the artist of all profits. Was that your idea? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That'd be, That's that'd pretty be cool idea. though. Yeah. Is that pretty common? I've never heard of that before. Um, like among record, record yeah. labels? No, not really. There's just a few that work with charities. PS for Panda wants to kind of make that a goal of do all you, the money that they get to give some to charities. Do you know which charities or anything? Like, do you get to choose? Or? You get to choose, yeah. And? I haven't chosen yet. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, uh, the, the, the television industry could sure use it. I don't know if it's an official charity <laughs> or not. Okay. Uh, so is that the new album coming out? Is it actually the same album, or do you have a, a uh, new album of new material? <laughs> I have a new album of new material coming out in, should be October. Okay. Does yeah. that segue into the next song? Um, yes. Yeah. It's like we planned this. And this one will be on it. It's like we're running lines here, yeah. Andy. Okay, this next song off the yet-to-be-released album is called... It's called... Love of Summer. Love of Summer. The season or summer like the girl? Uh, like... <laughs> the love of the season. Alright. The summer season, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Andy Shaw. Cause I don't want 
Andy Shaw from the Shaw TV Studios tonight. Something off the new album, which I really.